Thank you, Tripti. That was a beautiful tour. Yes, East Bangalore, Trivandrum, owned by Dr. Srijit and Dr. Veena. Let's start uh, to hear the comments from our judges. I will start with Shankar, sir. Your thoughts on the exterior and the landscaping, sir? First, we have to say that we have to say that we have to say that we have to triangles, circles, mm. shape and combination, permutation combination. It is completely different. Our perceptions are completely different than our experience. I really like the boldness. Yeah. I think it's a good thing. The road is less traveled. It mm. will take you to magical vistas. Yes, it is. You know, and uh, you should really salute the boldness uh, in taking such a shape. I think it's a good thing. It's a canopy, it's a good thing. A dome kind of mm. It's overpowering, yeah. but it is a new sight for me. I mean, in my life, I can't see it. But in the detailing, there are some things. Mm. Uh, elevation treatment, it looks bland, bare. Mm. No edge. Uh, features. I mean, it looks, I mean, curves are very beautiful, but in the back, it's enhancing quality. Protege exterior painting, exterior element treatment, protege general code in front of it. And sunshade on the code general. Suddenly it looks, that little portion looks bare and things like that. Exterior design is from the church alone. You can find overpowering or paving Santoni. In a cortuda, the light and the cortuda, probably it's a new building. I'm not sure about that. Probably trees are starting yeah. to grow. If it's more green, if it's more, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say. Okay. Uh, we'll move on to architect Shaina and her thoughts on the exterior and landscape. When you see the first shot of the building, save for the Japanese sort of umbrella yeah, on top, yeah. there is no other feature on the elevation which, you know, actually welcomes you towards it. Mm. Maybe on the wall I saw, on the compound, on the columns, there was a darker tint of brown. Right. So I think if they had applied some of those colors mm. on the elevation, mm. I mean, not too much, but at least here and there, it could have been could better. Have. Okay. But uh, the elevation, like Sir said, it's we haven't seen such yeah. an elevation anywhere. It's something different. Right. And maybe from the visuals, we can't feel the actual importance or the value of it uh, when the sun comes from behind the mm -hmm. umbrella. Mm -hmm. Maybe it might give an ethereal look to the building because of the light flowing in through the glass uh, polycarbonate sheet or whatever is given right. on it. Right. Uh, the uh, landscape from the front visuals what we see is very simple, just paving, that's what we see. But there was a shot towards the rear yard, I believe, yes. which had some lawn and some rabbits and some trees there. That looked really good from the long shot. But yes. when they showed up the close-up, mm -hmm. the grass was not, not well maintained. The main door detailing was quite good. It was. I like the main like door the detailing. Closer. And again, the sit-out, what they, what they have shown. Mm -hmm. Long, long steps they have given, right, but yes. I, I, don't, I wonder how much the rain can, I mean, how much the sunshade can protect the rain yeah. from coming inside. Uh, because in our climate, we need the overhangings yeah. to protect mm -hmm. the sun and the rain from coming in. Agree with the points uh, architect Shaina has given. Let's move on to Mr. Harish and hear his thoughts on the house. Umbrella nor another, actually, I don't know why it is used out there. Oh. Uh, Car, car owned park in India, mm. uh, I don't think that definitely rain where uh, car where and sands on that. And a poka, poka, and a 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 poka, in Katra, I should work in the one that I did work either. Whatever the design is, are windows like a chair that go My company is doing design and build, so I know how difficult, how it, difficult it is to super, even to supervise. All right, moving from the exteriors and the landscaping, we move on to the spatial planning, and, and I will have architect Shaina talk about it first. We talked about the simplicity of the exteriors. I think even the interiors have been treated very simple, uh, save for the colors they have given on some highlighter walls. Right. They have given, I think, uh, orange or maroon mm. on some walls. But uh, from the visuals, we could see a lot of light coming in. Yes. And the uh, flooring, which was of a light color, plus the walls again of a lighter color, amplified the intensity of light. 
so the rooms looked quite spacious but I could see a lot of walls which were curved and joining at acute angles okay. and at different levels so mm. you know like I, I wondered about the usability of those spaces provided okay. we could see it in the dining room right. the dining room was tapering towards the corner mm. and the dining table wash basin was based towards the end towards the edge okay. and the dining table was quite close by so it looked as though it was just placed there by mistake uh, it was not properly planned that's what I felt okay. uh, the kitchen was very practical mm. Um, the wash basin again like I said looked a little congested and out of place in that area. Okay. All right, moving on to Shankar sir, your thoughts on the spatial planning for East Bangalore? Connectivity is like, you know, you get in the living, you get in, from there you get into the dining, from there you go to the bedroom, staircases, kitchen, that way it is perfect. I mean, theoretically it is perfect, yeah. but the whole house looks empty yeah, to me, oh. uh, you know, probably it is a new house, mm. probably it is a new house. Mm. When you enter the house, this is the living area that you see. One little corner, mm. the sofa set taken, but the other corners looks completely empty. Uh, you know, any special planning into intimacy, mm. coziness, other missing though. I mean, any stupid regarding the little there's a triangular corner, uh, the dining area. Mm. Mm. There they have put nice furniture, it looks okay. I mean, it doesn't look Although you are talking about acute angles, it looks properly used in you know, right. that area. Kurchuda uh, detail work out here, you know, Kurchuda nanna hai Okay. Uh, Mr. Harish, your take on the spatial planning. Do you think they have done justice to the space available? Friend lot of course, nalla salam. I mean, can't not that. Really lot. Really lot. Space on that. That other use it illa. I mean, allu ana I mean, I mean, that. Point. Point noted. I think moving with the interior elements, I'll start with you again to know your feeling on that. Interiors are very nice. Here is corner. I have done that. You see that on the round table. Or that. This parimandi. Parimandi. What is this? No. I have done that. See that. Okay. Ma'am, your thought on the interior elements? I really like the colors they have used for the highlighters. I mean, uh, they look. They went along well with the walls and the flooring and the furniture because. We never saw any black furniture, right. black sofa sets yes, here like yes. we usually see. Mm. They have used a white upholstery mm. for the chair sofas. I think even for the dining table they have used, they are maybe. So and the white curtains mm. they have used went along well with the dark colors. True. So the color combination somehow seemed balanced. I, I do not have any complaints about that. Mm. I think one good thing, I, I do not know if I can say good thing, but the color difference that I saw was when you are coming to the lawn area you have a curvature look of the house and it is orange in the middle and the other two areas are beige in color. So that orange was standing out but uh, the beige and the orange and the greenery in the lawn somehow I felt you know probably uh, the beige could have been a different color my thought again but that was actually standing out the green and the orange and the beige. You know, I think uh, it was just the orange highlighters Hi, the other uh, wall was the orange reflected upon the other wall. All right, maybe maybe that is why you felt it as a darker shade. Probably yeah maybe that is it. Shankar, sir, your thought on the interiors? Interiors obviously pleasant, a thematic continuity. But I think it is a This is the furniture layout, curtains, light fixtures, paintings on the wall. Some magic you have to create. Otherwise, you know, huge areas, it looks empty. Interior design can completely alter the face of the so that is something that you need to use. Definitely, I think moving on with the special features, I will start with Shankar sir again. What is that X factor you felt in this house makes it stand out? Pleasantly surprised the kind of, you know, the curves that he has taken, mm. planning part of it, you know. Yeah. It is easier to draw straight lines and, you know, uh, get away with that. But here he has taken some bold these things, innovative these mm. things, taking the curves. And its curves are always difficult yeah. elements, you know, it is very difficult to control curves. Yeah. So, I think the deftness yeah. which he has controlled the, you know, semicircular, yeah. circular yeah. elements yeah. is something that needs to be lauded. Great, that is the special feature Shankar sir felt in that house and I would like ma'am to talk about the special feature. Um, if we ignore the fact that the lawn at the rear side is not maintained, yeah. I think the area gives a very warm, cool, cozy look because yeah. a lot of trees, I saw there, a lot of there trees there. Trees. That area I really liked. All right, moving on to Harish, sir. Yeah, I, I go with her actually. Okay, no, the lawn. The lawn, the rear side. Mm. It, that had life to it. Yeah, 
Yeah. All right. Okay. We also have this special feature. So here we are for the East Bangalore. The scoring done by judges. Thank <laughs> you.